All right, so my buddy Eric and I are heading out. We're gonna go down Sugar Creek. We launched at the West Union Bridge, and what we're doing is really we're kind of exploring today. We want to go out to the mouth where the Sugar Creek dumps into the Wabash, and we want to scout it out, see if it's a place we can come back for a better fishing trip. Uh, maybe do an all-nighter looking for some flatheads or blue cats. Uh, but for the day, we've got a beautiful day. Say hi, Eric. Hey. We've got a gorgeous sunny day. Uh, we are going to try shooting some buffalo. Here's the bridge back behind us. And we're just going to be out here see, trying to catch whatever we see. We're, we're, we've got all kinds of different gear, variety, different tackle. And um, just a couple of dudes out here trying to catch some fish. So see how it goes. Well, I'm going to start off trying to shoot some buffalo, though. We do have a cooler with ice, so our plan to make use of what we have is just to rip the the useful meat off anything and and toss it on the ice and and we'll we'll finish cleaning it all up when we get back that's the plan that looks yeah i'll just over for a little bit see yep. anything that looks promising see anything with your bow yeah no i don't see anything i just i just like uh where the rocks are rock where the rocks are i like anything it's different you know anytime i'm like there's there's some good shots right there I'm not taking because I don't want to bash my yeah. arrow against the rock. What's over there? What's that? Buffalo cart? Um, I couldn't tell. I think. I think so. <laughs> See, there's one pacing us up to the left here. Okay, perfect. We are at our destination. This is right where Sugar Creek dumps into the Wabash. This is Indiana Sugar Creek, by the way, not the Illinois Sugar Creek. We got, this bar is exactly what I would want to fish here. And this log jam is perfect for bow fishing. Officially, this is a wonderful place to be. This is absolutely gorgeous. So if I not fall off this log, That'd be pretty sweet. Or fall off the log. I'm gonna go get my bow. We're gonna try hitting these from two different angles here. So our boat's back here. This is all really shallow. I'm not seeing any fish up in the shallow area. But I'm gonna try to get out on these, um, on this rocky area here where the water's passing over. And I'm uh, thinking there ought to be some fish pinned up behind this log jam. I might be able to pull them out and sneak up on them. I'm like a sheepdog for giant fish, trying to send them up here to Eric. A couple of poles out here. Um, some night crawlers and we got some custom homemade bait of Eric's we're trying uh, to see if we can catch, catch some carp, but I really want to see what kind of mussels are out here, so. No, but for real, uh, I want to see if I can find the mussel bed. Generally where you see a bunch of shells, you go upstream from there to find the live ones. There should be some cool, crazy ones in here. All right, Eric's got a fish on. Five bucks says it's a carp. Carp bait. I'll be switching over. Grass carp. Anything? Good call, man. You just land him and then we'll think about it, I guess. I was over to mess around in the log and the whole pole went in the water. Yeah, gone, man. 
He's a good size one. Oh. You. You don't think? I don't, he might. Uh, what do you think he is? Nine, ten pound? Probably. Yeah. Want yeah, look at that guy go. Yeah. Watch him swim away. We don't, neither one of us want to eat this guy. So. Nah, he's all right. We catch some buffalo and I want him, but. Goodbye, Mr. Carpy. Come on, dude. There we go. All right, I'm gonna try a new setup. This is what Eric just caught that grass carp on. So this is his uh, his rig here. And uh, all we're gonna be doing is using a, a slip egg sinker. And then there's a basket that holds a uh, chum bait. That's a homemade recipe of his. And then we'll put corn on the hook on the bottom. Now I might even have too big of a hook here, but we'll see how it goes. This is what his bait looks like. See. So the kids mistake it for cereal all the time, he said. <laughs> so what all you got in this mix? It's uh panko. You know like a break. Panko. panko. Yep. It's spring loaded. Oh spring loaded, I got yeah, you. Yeah, okay, yeah. so I'm not gonna break it. Yeah, you gotta put it all the way up. Uh panko, strawberry, Kool-Aid mix. Okay. And corn. That's it. Panko, strawberry, Kool-Aid, and corn. And like a half a cup of water. Alright. To activate the Kool-Aid. Well, it worked pretty good last time. And then the hook gets just corn just on Just the corn yeah, on Yeah, just fill the whole shaft up with corn. So you can't see the hook. Okay. This is what we'll be playing with. How about pound of line you got on that? 10 pound. Okay, you should be good. Braid. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're good. Fire line. So we're actually out in the Wabash now, and we're trying a, a new spot here. We just decided to come up on this uh, little show, rocky shoal, or whatever you call it, and, and there's some slack water that's nice and deep, and there were tons of grass carp up in here earlier. Well, that's got to be a car. That's on your basket. That's on the, uh, on the bird cage. Yeah, yeah. Hello, honey. Oh man, I'm not gonna get it underneath this other line. I thought I... I'm going to be good tangling some shit by the time I get him in here. He's about the same size as that one you caught. Not too bad. Come on under. He just wants to tangle these two fishing poles together as much as he can.
Got him. Hey. I think I, I think I realized what I've been doing wrong. I, I, I adjusted my uh, um, my grip a little that time, and I felt like I was felt like I finally kind of had an accurate shot. I just wasn't holding the man, dude. This arrow sucks. This thing doesn't flip backwards for anything. I don't know how even you're supposed to. I don't know if this will do it or not. I think I need something. There we go. Oh, that would have killed him regardless. Boy, he got him right to the gills. Yeah, he's a. Dinner. There you go, buddy. You're coming home with us. All right. Woo! How you doing? You got him on camera, huh? Yep. Yeah, I yeah, did. Yeah. I don't know how good of a shot it'll be. I just pulled the camera up to make it. Now you're being the cameraman unknowingly right now because I'm, I'm pacing it. So oh, okay. I'm right alongside with you. Now, my wife's got to be, a, you know, cool because I bring this cooler home, you know, bleach it out. She's always cool with me. She just wants me to bring home some fish. Did you actually eat it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Dude, I she, she tried to eat a bug. Yeah. Well, you want to hop in? You start paddling? Can we paddle up that? What's that? Can we paddle up that? Oh, absolutely. Left the canoe staked in the ground there. We're paying for it now. We gotta go upstream. We're gonna take lots of breaks. Fish every hole we come down. You see them all? try a little. Hey, I just had a sturgeon over here I just spooked up. Really? Yeah. was that? Do you feel her whole earth shake? Yeah. Holy <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> we're, we're standing in the water and I mean you could feel it. I felt the ground move under my feet. I thought it was an earthquake happening. I mean, it had to be a, there has to be a mine around here. That was a detonation at a, at a quarry or a mine or something. Dude, that, I felt that in the ground before I heard it. I'm dying to know what that shake was. I was worried something like a tree was gonna fall off the bank or something I, if it kept shaking like that. Hey, here's a little thing for practice that I did. Take the arrow, pick something you're aiming at, stick it in the water and try to touch it. Does that work? Yeah, watch. See what it does. Like, just pick a piece of dirt right there. Go at like a 45 degree angle like this and take the arrow and poke it into it. Just go straight. And you'll see if you go straight, all of a sudden you're, you're hitting it. I'm hitting it two inches above it. So when I go in, I got to go in under it. It's good at, it's good at helping you predict the light diffraction. Coming back. Oh, dude, you just missed him. So either somebody sat here 
and bow fish for a very long time and just dump the fish and then predators spread them out or something completely different happened here. I mean, I don't see it. Doesn't look like there's any like fresh ones. I think I think you might be right, man. I think somebody might have done this. Which sucks, but I mean that they killed that main fish. Hey, come here. They yeah. did. What's that? Come here. They did. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. They see how the holes ran them? They must have come through here with lights at night. Think they did? I mean, honestly, dude, that, 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 this to me is just kind of irritating. You know, wait. Yeah, I don't, I mean, yeah, if you're going to take, you know, it's one thing if they were all Asian carp. You know, that I'd understand a little bit, but. Yeah, they just dump them and waste them like that. I'm with you, man. I, I, it's totally irritating to me. Yeah, yeah. All right. There we go. There we go. Yeah, make sure it's recording. Uh -oh. It is. It, it is recording. I can see it. Want to pick it up? Uh, yeah, pick it up. This guy's getting big. You're at 23%. Okay. Cody, man, my bait works good. Yeah, I like your bait, man. They smell that dude and they just come. He's gonna flip out, dude. This guy's got a ton of energy. Is He's not a, a buffalo. Is that a channel? Yep. Dude, that's a channel. Yep, it is. Look at that shit, man. It even works for channel cats. <laughs> Well, if that's what snapped my line. Oh, uh, man. Dude. Now that's a nice channel. Alright, there's my kitty cat. And here's our here's our fish cooler. So now we got two keepers. Man, you gotta stop doing that. He's probably a two and a half pounder, maybe. Two. Well, this what do you think? Two, two and a half? Yeah. Okay, we're going in. Woo! Oh boy. Nice. Got him. Feels like another channel. Oh, he's bigger than he's bigger than that. I got it on. Yeah, this good. This dude's taking me for a ride here. Up high in the water, I see him over there. Oh yeah, yeah he's taking a little bunch of See him? Nope. Oh, I see his duck. I see him nowhere. He's up real high in the water. Might be a common. Oh no, I see I'm good. I'm good. You're fine. I'm saying he might be a common, I'm not sure. To get him up here and look at him. He's got a kind of a gold color. Yeah, get up here. Uh, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, man, I, I was having a hard time ID in that one. All right, so this guy, I'm not a hunter. I think he's gonna, I'm gonna find, find out what he is, but uh, he, uh, Kind of has the mouth and whiskers of a common carp with the scales of a grass carp. So I'm gonna have to look him up. Huh? I don't know, do you think he's just a common? Yeah, he's a common carp.
Ooh. That didn't take long. Mm. There he is. Oh, dude, he's going. What is he? Common carp. Looks like he's a, he's a lot wider than a buffalo carp. Yeah, he hit it the second I, I, it got in there. Just so few people that ever make it out here. This type of spot. It's an awesome place to be. If you love the outdoors. Like I do, then you love being in those places that, that nobody else gets to. It's definitely one of those for me. I think it's a giant floater. I think. There you go, buddy. Two point, two point two miles down, two point two miles back. The back trip was much harder <laughs> pretty much had to walk the kayak back the whole way so we're gonna be a little bush this evening we've earned it today we've covered a lot of ground